one of the most loving things we can do for our family, Tracy, I believe, is in assigning our tangible personal properties to the people that we want to receive them, whether that is our family members or friends or even charity organizations, right? Yes, I think it's so nice um, when you have a sentimental um, attachment to something and then want to see that go on to a grandchild or um, an adult child. It, it's nice to know as a recipient why your parent picked that for you or why they think about it in connection with you. And you have had some of these things in your family that automatically have people that they should go to and yes. you know why. Absolutely. Yes, I think we are. We know best what we have. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, hopefully I'm going to live for a whole lot more years, but we never know. And so while we are thinking about things, it's just wonderful to be prepared because when the time comes where my estate has to be settled, um, I want to make sure that several of my of my possessions are going to the people I want to because I have special memories and a special reason I want to give that to them. And so um, what we could send to you, honestly, is if you just have a distribution list that you have filled out for each person that is going to get something of yours, um, that is just an easy way to do it. And you can do that when you're 30 years old, right? If you you, you can, and you always make a good point that don't just write it down, but if you write it down, assign it, say, C uh, tag number ME42, and then the piece of jewelry says ME42. You have to make sure it is crystal clear which item you're speaking about. Absolutely, and many times, you know, what I, what I like to do and what I have already thought to do is to make sure that I share the sentiment behind what I'm leaving for my loved ones, because right. there's a, there's a real reason. And I'm the only one that knows, right? Yes. And so it's just very important. That is a, a huge piece of our estates. And honestly, it's probably one thing that gets overlooked quite quite uh, quite regularly. Um, now, the other thing that you might think about doing is, and I've had um, friends do this in the past, and that is give away some things that you are not going to use any longer already prematurely. Give them away when you can do it, and then you can personally tell the person or the charity organization why you're giving that and, and give it to them at that point. Then there's no confusion when it does come estate settlement time. <laughs> That's good. It's very nice when people already understand the sentiment behind things and they can appreciate it. 